Okay, let us introduce and start the luxury webinar today. I know there's still a few of you coming in, um, but you will catch up quickly. We'll just do the introductions to start with. So I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves. Um, so first of all, we've got Andrea. Andrea, hello, how are you? Tell us who you are, where you're from and what your prize is today, please. Hi, my name's Andrea Hogg and I'm representing Cambridge Beaches in Bermuda today. And um, my prize is um, a shopping voucher, a £50 shopping voucher. Super. Thank you very much. We've also got Megan. Megan, this is your first webinar with us. You've been let loose to tell us all about your amazing <laughs> hotel today. So welcome. And don't be too Thank nervous. You. We don't bite much. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Megan. I look after Coconut Bay and Serenity, which is the resort we'll be speaking about today. And our prize is a £50 shopping voucher as well or $60, or depends on where you are in the world. Super, thank you very much. And last but not least, we've got Charlotte. Charlotte, welcome, how are you? Very well, thanks, Sarah. Hi, everybody, my name's Charlotte, and I represent beautiful Beckway Beach Hotel, and the prize today is a £50 or equivalent cash prize. Super, thank you very much, Charlotte. So I'm going to kick you off, Charlotte. I'm going to share my screen now um, and I'm going to show everybody a little video on your hotel. So let me just get myself organised. Um, here we go. Sorry, you can tell I don't normally do this. <laughs> normally everybody else that does them. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> You're welcome. Are you ready? So I'm going to take you to Beckway Beach. Um, here we go. If you wake up and don't want to smile If it takes just a little while Open your eyes and look at the day Cause you'll see things in a different way So don't stop thinking about tomorrow Don't stop, it'll soon be here Cause it'll be better than before Yesterday's gone, yesterday's gone Ooh. Oh, oh. Why not think about the time to come And not about the things that you've done If your life was bad to you Just think what tomorrow will do don't stop thinking about tomorrow Don't stop, it'll soon be here Cause it'll be here better than before Yesterday's gone, yesterday's gone Ooh, don't you look back Thank you, Thank Sarah. That's, that's fantastic. I'm just going to share my presentation now. Thank Certainly you for the heart. <laughs> Thank you for all the hearts coming through, everybody. That was lovely. Um, and the clapping, that was fantastic. Um, yeah, certainly agree. I know where I'd rather be right about now. So let me just um, get this up so hopefully everybody can see. So um, thanks so much for joining. Um, my name's Charlotte and I'm the UK-based representative for Beckway Beach Hotel. So I'm going to give you just a little bit of a whistle-stop tour of the island of Beckway, all it has to offer, and of course, the beautiful resort. So the first question many people ask, which is an excellent question, is where exactly Beckway is. So you can see there on the map, Beckway is a small lightning bolt-shaped island located in the Southern Caribbean. Um, it's, it's very small in size, so it's only seven miles square, it's got a population of about 5,000 people, and it's located in St Vincent and the Grenadines, so that's the country that it belongs to. Um, the second question people often ask is how on earth do you get to Beckway? So um, despite being a far-flung and beautifully unsport island, there are actually lots of different transport options um, to reach Beckway. So the main um, 
entry hub would definitely be Barbados. So obviously lots of international non-stop flights from both Europe and North America into Barbados several times a week. Then once you get to Barbados, you have a choice. So there's a local carrier called SVG Air, which operates year round, and it's a short hop from Barbados over to Beckway. Or even better, I'll tell you a bit more about this, um, as part of the hotel portfolio, they actually have their own private aircraft, so a nine-seater aircraft um, which operates under Beckway Air, and that operates during the high season, so from November to May each year, and it connects Barbados to Beckway in a speedy 26 minutes, and you'll see on the, the map there the other entry point, we've actually just recently um, well, in the second year running now, our St. Lucia to Beckway route. So you can fly into St. Lucia and you can also connect Beckway Air from St. Lucia to Beckway. And that's an even shorter transfer time. It's about 16 minutes. So it does facilitate same day arrival. We meet as many inbound international flights as we can. And we depart from both those islands usually at 5 p.m. So the one thing to mention when getting to Beckway is there are no landing lights on the island. So um, obviously we are kind of governed by operating in the hours of daylight. And then finally, just in terms of getting to Beckway, you also see the little ferry symbol there from St. Vincent. So there is the option to fly from London Heathrow on the Virgin route to St. Vincent. Um, and then the next day you can get the passenger ferry across. So unfortunately that, that flight does land quite late. Um, so you would have to overnight in St. Vincent um, and then you'd come across the next day. So any questions obviously on getting to Betquay and Betquay Air, um, myself and the reservations team would be more than happy to help you with that. So yeah, this is the beautiful aircraft. So it's a King Air, it's a nine seater pressurized aircraft. Um, which, as I mentioned, obviously operates during the peak season, connecting guests in style from both Barbados and St Lucia. So really luxury appointed. Obviously, it's only a short hop anyway, and it's a seamless end to end service. So the guests are met off their flight, the luggage is put into the hold, and then we have that short hop over to Beckway West, where, whereby you're met by members of the, the hotel team and then you're ushered directly to resort. So in time for a nice sundowner. <laughs> so going back to the island and obviously what makes Beckway special. So I think the best way of describing Beckway is it's the Caribbean of yesteryear. So if you've got clients who really hanker after kind of that unsport white sand beach, um, not too much traffic, certainly no high rise, just really like kind of going back in time 50 years to what the Caribbean used to be a bit more like, um, a nice slow pace of, of life, then Betquay will be right up their street. So um, this is where the hotel is situated on a beautiful white sand beach, it's called Friendship Bay. And then the resort itself is only 60 keys in total. So nice and small and intimate, lots of space for everybody to relax. And it's just very unpretentious. It's very homely. We have guests who come back to us year after year and they're just like, oh, I feel like I've come home. Um, and a lot of the original team um, have been with us since the very beginning. So that's really lovely too. We're privately owned by a Swedish family. So the Morstead family. Um, Mr. Morstead fell in love with Betquay when he was sailing with his brother 25 years ago and sort of became an accidental hotelier along the way and Betquay Beach Hotel um, was born. So the family is still very hands-on. It's very much a passion project for them and they really pride themselves on obviously taking extra special care of all of their guests. Um, so here's our brand new saltwater infinity pool. So there's actually two swimming pools at the hotel now, the original one and then during one of the lockdowns, um, the owners invested in building this beautiful saltwater infinity pool and you can actually see our neighbour of Mystique on the, on the horizon on clear days so um, beautiful, beautiful beautiful views and obviously just steps away from the beach itself. So the style of the property as I said is just really kind of unpretentious we pride ourselves on excellent customer service um, but it's a place that you know um, it's not showy like um, the neighbour of Mystique, it's just more about that authentic Caribbean hospitality um, and friendliness and charm, which you'll find in abundance throughout the, throughout the island. These are our beachfront suites, so we've got 28 units of these, 
all obviously located right on that beautiful white sand friendship bay so they've all got private balconies you can fling open the doors a great spot to have your morning coffee um, so you get the sun rises on this side of the island and then the sun sets on the other side of the island so all really individually um, tastefully designed lots of kind of one-off um, vintage style posters and antiques throughout the property um, there's no boring cookie cutter rooms they've all got plenty of personality and then if you're looking for something a bit more special, we've got the two bedroom pool villas as well. So these have got the private little plunge pools out the front um, and they're all like cheerful Caribbean colors um, named after the island. So you've got Union Island, you've got Betquay and you've got Mystique. Um, great for sort of smaller um, groups or families who just want a bit more space when they stay with us. And then you've also got the lovely estate villa. So this is, um, Again, great for um, larger groups, long stay guests. It's nestled slightly up on the hill. So Betquay's got lots to offer in terms of kind of nature walks, hiking. It's actually quite a hilly island. Um, so you've got nice views down to um, Friendship Bay from the estate villa. Then of course, in terms of food and drink, you've got your classic Caribbean beach bar. Um, so that's located right on, set on the beach there. Um, we serve breakfast in the adjoining restaurant, um, which is Bagatelle restaurant. So a really nice spot to have your morning coffee. And we offer bed and breakfast as standard um, as a rate plan, um, but we can also offer half board and all inclusive as well. So if you were going to go half board or AI, then you've got the choice of Bagatelle, the main restaurant. So that's kind of more sort of authentic Caribbean cuisine, lots of obviously fresh seafood. They do a great lobster night. Um, but you've also got Blue Tropic, which is more of a sort of Mediterranean inspired restaurant um, nestled just next to that estate villa, which I showed you. So it's up a few um, stairs there. So really nice spot. And then we've also got Jack's, which is somewhat of a Betquay institution. So Jack's is actually on the other side of the island. So I mentioned you see the sun rises on um, Friendship Bay. On the other side of the island, on Princess Margaret um, Beach, you have amazing sunsets. So obviously with Betquay being so small, it's very safe. It's very easy to get around. We offer a complimentary shuttle bus um, every day as well over to Jack's. So you can head over there. They do fantastic sort of all day dining, very informal. Um, so things like lobster mac and cheese, obviously a great cocktail list. You get all the yachties coming in as well. Um, lots of sort of locals and expats and live music. It's just a really fun vibe. So a lot of um, people come to Jack's who aren't even staying at the hotel. But obviously, if you are a hotel guest, you do get the signing privileges as well. So really convenient to, um, to head over there. And obviously, you've got the amazing Caribbean sunsets as well so what better view when you're sipping your rum punch or um, pina colada to look out and see that. So back at the hotel we've got a small spa as well so it's much more kind of rustic more sort of al fresco massages um, but they do great treatments and there's also a fully air-conditioned gym as well if you want to get your workout in. So along with the resort itself um, and obviously Betway Air, the aircraft, which I've spoken about, the family also have an amazing super yacht called Star of the Sea. So this is a 35 meter Italian built Bonetti. She's beautifully appointed, um, can sleep up to 12 people across six cabins. To give you a ballpark figure, you'd be looking at about 6,000 US dollars a day to um, charter Star of the Sea. So it works quite nicely if guests want to have a private charter, go and explore the islands of the Grenadines. There's obviously amazing uh, snorkeling, diving. Um, you've got Mystique as our neighbor. Um, you've got Canawan as well, which is um, beautiful for snorkeling um, and seeing kind of tropical fish. Um, or you could head out further afield. So we have a lot of flexibility being a small um, operation. We often just try and kind of gather some guests together and just be like, right, we're going to go for a day trip to Mystique, who's keen to just do a day cruise or an evening sunset cruise. So it can be um, kind of charted on a bit more of an informal basis as well. So obviously fully crewed, um, your food and drink included on board there as well. And then finally, I just wanted to touch upon um, our two newest um, additions to the portfolio. So this is Grenadine Hills. These are two lovely, stunning, um, super high-end villas which have not long been open. So Grenadine Hills are located about two kilometers away from the main resort. Um, we offer a complimentary shuttle for obviously our guests staying um, within these villas. So the two villas, um, as you can see, six bedroom, eight bathroom, this is Villa One. Um, this is about 7,000 
square foot of living space. You've got that amazing 30 foot infinity pool, plenty of views, um, amazing, amazing views right out to Mystique in the distance. Um, quite different in the design to the main hotel. So it's much more sort of clean and um, I'd say sort of minimal style, a bit more sort of sleek and modern, um, whereas the hotels are a bit more sort of characterful, but absolutely stunningly appointed. Um, you've got a private gym suite. They come um, with their own staff. So you'd have housekeeping, you'd have your private butler. Um, if you did want to have the services of a private chef as well, we can accommodate that so you can have um, you know, great dining out on this in this outside space. Um, but this comes as a bed and breakfast basis as well. Um, so the rate started about 2,500 US a night. So for this kind of product, um, I appreciate it might not be every day you're sort of um, quoting on this, but it's extremely well priced because um, it's obviously a new product to market. So um, great value for for families, we've had family reunions getting together here in Beckway from both sides of the Atlantic, which has been amazing. Um, and yeah, obviously everything, everything you could wish for really for a really luxurious stay on Beckway. And then this is the second villa. So there's two in total. That first one was Villa One. This is Coral Hill, um, slightly smaller, but still about 6,000 um, square foot of living space. You've got the wraparound infinity pool. Um, beautiful views because you're perched slightly up on the hill um, and yeah really stylishly appointed so if I can help with any inquiries for the villas as well please do let me know we're definitely can be flexible for kind of longer stays and quieter times there's a few more images of that um, and that's it from me so um, thank you very much <laughs> Charlotte, you was getting quite a lot of attention there with all the love hearts and things, especially when we're <laughs> on to the villas as well. Um, but yeah, great, great luxury hotel. Um, and Charlotte is very trade friendly in her team. So uh, do send your bookings over. We've got a couple of questions for you, Charlotte. We're going to do them just at the end. Um, so now I am going to hand it over to Megan in sunny St. Lucia. Megan, are you there? I am. She's mm -hmm. hiding. <laughs> Right. Over to you, Megan. And just don't just as um just to remember everybody listen carefully because we will do a question at the end. Okay. How do I move this? There we go. That'll make that easier. Hi everyone. Uh, my name's Megan. I represent Coconut Bay and Serenity. I'm based in the UK. Um, and today we're going to cover the beautiful Serenity. This is a all-inclusive, adults only and couples only resort. It's in the southern coast of St. Lucia, just a few minutes from the airport. All of our suites have a private plunge pool, private patio, gorgeous four poster king size beds and a beautiful personalized butler service. So we're located in the Southeast of the Caribbean and you can get here from all over the world. Uh, for all of you here today, obviously we've got a flight three and a half hours from Miami, we're five hours from Toronto, and we're nine hours from the UK. We've also got the inter-Caribbean flights if you're ever looking at twin center holidays to Island Pop for your customers. We've got non-stop flights from Miami, Dallas, JFK, Atlanta, Newark, and Toronto as well in North America. And the UK, you're looking at London Heathrow with um, Virgin, which is a seasonal flight from November till March each year and British Airways and TUI fly out of London Gatwick. We're located in a perfect location. Like I said, only a few minutes from the airport. So it's a really easy transfer. So you've got a long flight, you get your bags, you get in the car, all of our transfers are included in the cost of the stay. And before you've even properly put on your seatbelt and kind of taken a deep breath after the flight, you've already arrived at the gate of our resorts. We've also won several awards at Serenity. It's a beautiful hotel, as I mentioned, and it's very popular with honeymooners. We've also got several awards with Traveler's Choice. We recently won one of the best of the best resorts with Travel Advisors um, Traveler's Choice Awards for 2022. We are also rated one of the top resorts. Um, actually, we are the top rated resort, I should say, in St. Lucia, which is one of 67 hotels that were nominated. So we're very proud about that. 
I'm just going to show you a quick video of Serenity. Let's and play. So serenity, as you can see from the video, it's very small, very intimate, very private, and very trendy and sleek for our couples. The rooms, we have 36, as I said, and they range from 1,250 to 19,000 square feet per room. That's including the interior and exterior space as we have huge patios out there. So there's a lot of outdoor living space for couples that are there. We have three room categories, the plunge pool butler suite, the premium plunge pool butler suite and the grand premium plunge pool suite. That is the largest. We've only got eight of those. As I said, it's a small resort, so you will need to book in advance. We're not one for a last minute getaway. The rooms do sell up in advance. I'm just going to show you if it works a quick video of a webinar we did a couple months ago where our general manager walked into the resort for a video of inside one of the suites. Our let me just make sure I find the right spot. Where are we? It's a live tour. Here we go. <laughs> so this is our plunge pool size butler suite. All our suites are 1,200 to 1,900 square feet of indoor outdoor space. And our living area, we, as you see, we have our pool with the waterfall and every suite has that available. We also have a hammock for the afternoon nap, which uh, is very convenient and we've used quite often. Um, so here is the, the setup here we have is our very uh, unique to St. Lucia and the uh, tropics here. All our furniture is the handmade uh, mahogany local. And we also have our St. Lucia granite and river rock. So one thing you can do here with our Butler suites we have the intuitive service that the butlers have from personalizing the uh, bubble baths to creating our in-suite dining. We even have chef attended in-room dining. So they're also the ones that will take care of the cabanas for your afternoon snacks, lunch, anything like that. But also I want to keep in mind, we also do in-room massages for couples. The other thing is you have a seven night. If you book with us directly, you get uh, seven nights. You also get the grand romance package. That's a $1,200 uh, value for your clients. So enjoy the beautiful time as am I. We're going to go inside and then we'll have a, a cocktail when we're ready. Okay, so there we go. So that was Zach in resort, just giving you a quick tour of the patio. All of our bedrooms, as I said, they have king size four poster beds. We've got his and hers wardrobes, 55 inch flat screen TVs, coffee and espresso makers, pillow menu, personalized wet bars and premium liqueurs. In the bathroom, you've got grand soaking tubs, luxurious bath amenities and his and hers sinks. Outside, you've got romantic waterfall plunge pools. You have a chill out area with a nice couch and benches so you can dine out there if you like and you've also got fire pits for an evening of g and t's you have two sun beds for each couple a swinging hammock and an outside bar these rooms are perfect for the ultimate private and romantic holiday we've also got some great amenities for all of our guests some of these are 24-hour contactless room service so we have a small hutch at the entrance so if you don't want to be disturbed Anything you order to your room can be delivered to the hutch and you don't have to see anyone. You've got a great butler service and we've got pre-planning as well. So before you arrive, uh, your guests will be given a form they can complete online and they can give all of the details if they want a special night in, their favourite liqueurs, um, their favourite spirits, their favourite juices, and their room will be stocked with this throughout their stay. 
we can give private beach picnics, as well as dining around the pool cabanas, beach cabanas, and then you've got the unlimited dining options as well, including access to Coconut Bay. The butlers are very popular. We have a lot of repeat guests that ask for their favorite butler to help them during their stay. So the butlers can do everything for you from decorating your room, arranging the beach picnics, bringing your private, uh, your favorite drinks, organizing private dining for you. Speaking of dining, we've got unlimited dining options at Serenity. You have the beautiful Great House, which is our main a la carte restaurant for breakfast, lunch and dinner. We have poolside meals as well. And some days we do themed days. So I was out there in December where they had a, I believe it was a reggae day around the pool and they had a fresh barbecue and it was the most amazing jerk chicken I've ever had. Um, we've got the poolside cabanas, which you can dine in and they also come with curtains so you can just veg out in your cabana all day. You can eat at one of the beach cabanas, which are obviously as per the following photo you will see are right on the beach and they come with swinging beds, a big, um, big patio with additional sunbeds so that you can be out in the sun as well as in the shade. And then you can also dine in your suite or on your patio. Here's some of those options for you. So on the left, you've got the beach cabanas and on the right at the top, you have got the poolside cabanas. And this is an example of some of the amazing food that you can eat at Serenity. You also have the option here for all guests where you stay at one and play at two. So you have access to Coconut Bay, which is the sister resort next door. You've got eight dining options, six of which are a la carte. You've got seven bars, including an adult only bar, as well as a swim up bar. You have five pools. And if you want, you can also enjoy the largest water park on the island that we have, which is Coco Land. And the Lazy River is great to uh, float around with a cocktail in hand. We've also got a one mile stretch of secluded beach. On this beach, you've got um, an unobstructed view of the ocean. We have overwater hammocks, which are very Instagrammable. And we've also got non-motorized water sports. Here you can see this is the layout of Coconut Bay towards the front, and then you've got a section towards the back on the left, and those are the 36 private suites of Serenity. You've also got the tennis courts and basketball courts, and along the front you have got the beach side, and towards the right hand side, this is where you find the beach cabanas in this section over here. Beach cabanas, Serenity, and then the adults only side also of Coconut Bay. Non-waterized water sports, we've got paddle boarding, kayaking. Um, we've also got uh, an additional fee and the right season. We have kite surfing and windsurfing, and we can also give lessons for this, or you can rent the equipment if you're already qualified to do so. A little bit more relaxing than the thrill of kite surfing, we have our sanctuary spa. They offer the ultimate pampering experience for our guests. This can be in their suite or in one of the eight indoor treatment rooms at the spa or one of the three oceanfront cabanas outside of Coconut Bay. We offer facials, massages, manicures, pedicures, as well as a full service salon, which is perfect for any of our couples that are looking for the ultimate destination wedding experience. Now, Coconut Bay is very popular for weddings, but Serenity offers the exclusive Sapphire package, which is a private half-day catamaran cruise wedding where you will sail under the pitons. Um, and it's an amazing cost of only $4,999. This allows for, I believe it's eight guests due to the space on the boat, but we can add extra. It is adults only, of course, like the rest of Serenity. Um, so for weddings, it's beautiful, but we are extremely popular with honeymooners. And this, like Zach mentioned, is due to our grand romance package. What's great about this package is it's $1,200 worth of romantic inclusions, but it's for all honeymooners as well as general couples. You don't have to be on your honeymoon. This is for a seven night minimum stay. And for all markets, UK, US and Canada, this is available for direct bookings and direct agent bookings. So you would just contact your booking support or reservation support and this will be available to you. In the UK, 
as we know, without the ability for us to add flights for direct agents, we do have this on offer with special tour operators. Now these will change. So contact us if you want um, to know who this is available with. So we do have it on a direct basis, but it's currently also available with If Only Holidays, which is one of our biggest B2B tour operators in the UK. And for consumers, we currently have it available with Tropical Sky, Virgin Holidays and Trail Finders. That's not on this list. But this package is fantastic. You get an in-suite couples massage, private pool and beach cabana services. You have a champagne and jazz sunset catamaran cruise. You have a private beach picnic, a private chauffeured island tour where you'll get to see the pitons, waterfalls and mud baths. And you can also have a candlelit pool cabana dinner. So for anyone that is looking to add this, it's such an amazing added value and adds such a special touch for your client's visit. The destination itself is stunning. Obviously, we're famous for the pitons in St. Lucia. We've got multiple certified tours available, which can be arranged through our concierge or for the client's butler service. We'll organize this for them. They can see the pitons, they can see the colorful fish on the coral reefs, they can take a tour of the island or walk through the rainforest. One of my favorites is definitely the uh, hot spring mud baths, which is a great day out, um, makes for a very fun Instagram post and family pictures. We've also got the botanical gardens, catamaran cruises and horseback riding. For our agents, we have several ways to reward our agents. We have a 15% commission on direct bookings. We offer up to $150 or £105 through my booking rewards for bookings of seven nights or more. Now, the rewards do vary by room category, and we're currently um, honouring all bookings through 2023, um, and soon 2024 will be included. Obviously, check the T's and C's. Um, and here on the page, you've got the links for our programmes, whether you're in North America or the UK. This is very new. This is agents for the UK only. So we've now launched our social media channels for agent support. We have Instagram and Facebook, as well as a MailChimp newsletter. So here you've got the, um, the QR codes if you'd like to join. Obviously, send me an email um, or watch this back and you can scan these QR codes. For the newsletter, it's free MailChimp, so you can customise everything if you want to hear about Coconut Bay or Serenity, you just want to hear about incentives or just want to hear about resort updates, you can choose to do that. For all markets, multiple ways to contact us, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube. We've also recently launched a new TikTok channel. Um, unfortunately, I haven't added it onto this slide, but if anyone would like the details, just pop me an email and I can send you the link because I've already started watching and every morning I wake up and I'm jealous that I'm not back at Serenity. Thank you very much. Any questions, obviously put it in the Q&A and I'll do my best to answer all of your questions. Thank you. Super, thank you very much, Megan. Lots of love hearts and claps and everything for your first webinar. So brilliant, thank you. Um, great information there and uh, Serenity is a really amazing adult only experience. So. We're now moving over to Bermuda. We've got Andrea. Andrea, over to you. Okay, two sets to share my screen. So hopefully you can see that. So hello, everybody. Um, I'm going to take you to Bermuda now and uh, give you um, a, little, a presentation on Cambridge beaches. So um, where is Bermuda? A lot of customers um, think it is in the Caribbean. It's not actually in the Caribbean. It's actually in the Atlantic Ocean. And um, from a location perspective, you're seven hours from London. And I saw that we've got quite a few American um, agents on. So two hours from New York, two hours from Boston, three hours from Toronto and six hours from Miami. So it, it's a, you know, a, a, an easy um, way to get to Bermuda It's sort of halfway between the two. One of um, the ideas I, I sort of say to keep um, pace with some of the um, OTAs is maybe look at a two centre um, with maybe New York or London and then doing the beach um, part with um, Bermuda. 
So that's just something to think about. Um, and so, yeah, you can see geographically um, what latitude um, it's on. So in terms of the weather, um, it's actually, um, a, the seasons are actually opposite to the Caribbean. So we're just moving into sort of spring now and um, the high season really is April through to October um, where you get the really high temperatures with the warmest month being August. Sea temperatures are lovely and warm. And then in the winter, um, it drops down to about 18 to 20 degrees. Um, they don't have a rainy season. It's a great um, destination in the winter for golf or, you know, for people who perhaps want to do sightseeing as well. So it's just something to bear in mind. And especially for like the weddings market, um, where um, particularly for agents in the UK, where they're always looking at places like the Maldives or the Caribbean, um, where it is the um, sort of rainy season, um, it's just somewhere else um, to think about for weddings or honeymoons. So this is our lovely resort. Um, we are on the west coast of um, Bermuda. So you fly into um, Bermuda and then you actually do a transfer. It's about 45 minutes across the island and um, to get to our resort. And we're on this peninsula. And one of our key selling points is that every um, room category will have just this amazing view of either the Atlantic Ocean or of Mangrove Bay. So that is a really nice feature. And um, we've, there's a lot of history to Cambridge beaches. Um, it, it, we're gonna be celebrating our centenary year this year. Um, the concept originally um, was the gentleman who owned the property and um, he wanted um, customers coming to Bermuda to experience what it was like to live there. So that's why there are all these little cottages. And um, what we've done now is we've um, changed the cottages into one um, either um, deluxe suites or one bedrooms or there's two bedrooms through interconnecting rooms. So um, that, that's um, what we've done over the years. And we've recently just gone through a multi-million dollar refurbishment of all the room products and um, the restaurants. Um, and, and I'll show you some images of what we've done just to bring it up to a, a, a luxury five star. Another sort of key selling point of the resort is that we have all these different private beaches and we've got two private um, coves. Um, and um, we've actually even got um, a, a shipwreck in Mangrove Bay, which the guests can snorkel to and dive down and have a look at a shipwreck. So that's um, a unique feature of the resort as well. So I'm just gonna show you a little video and you can take a look and it should show you the the What, what does the resort encompass? Um, it's the cottage style accommodation. And that really sets us apart from our competition really, because most of the other five-star resorts tend to be like more hotels. Whereas even though we are a, a hotel, um, I'd say we offer more of an all-encompassing resort in terms of we've got the beach, we've got water sports um, on site at the property um, with a you know full service marina. A lot of the other um, five-star resorts, um, they're either in Hamilton or they're on a golf course. There's very few that have as many amenities as what um, our resort has. Um, we've got an infinity pool with water pool and um, with waterfall. Um, we're the only resort which has a heated indoor pool and it has a retractable roof in the summer so we can take that off but in the winter this is why we're a great resort also in the winter um, because we have um, an indoor pool. I've mentioned the full service marina and um, all the water sports are on site 
Um, another factor of Bermuda, you can't actually rent a car um, while you're over there. They don't allow it, but you, you can get these electric cars or scooters. And we have the these electric cars um, on site, which um, guests can hire and they can scoot around to some of the most amazing beaches I've ever seen. Um, they are absolutely stunning. And you've got that pink, you know, the pink sand. Um, it is a, a very, very pretty island and um, very different to some of the other Caribbean islands that I've seen, I, um, but um, it's definitely worth considering. Um, we've also got a lot of um, activities that the guests can do, tennis, pickleball, um, boca courts. We've got a putting green, a croquet lawn, and we also have um, some affiliations with some local golf courses as well, where guests can um, choose to play if they want to do some, you know, like leisure golf as well. So these are the images of our new rooms. Like I said, we've spent a great deal of money and we've, we've used a lot of local um, um, like um, people to help us with, you know, the design of, of the room product. Um, and we're calling them reimagined rooms. So you will now see on um, our websites or with the tour operators you work with, everything's reimagined. Um, so our leading category is water view rooms. Then you've got the deluxe um, water view rooms that sleep three. We've got one bedroom water view suites that sleep four. And then we, we've also got these two bedrooms as well that'll sleep up to six. Um, the private pool um, water view cottages, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and then we've also got some um, sort of a, a, an enclosed two bedroom cottage and a three bedroom. So we're also trying to attract that family market. I would we haven't got a kids club so it isn't a resort where you, you perhaps will take very young children who if the parents wanted them in a um, a kids club we haven't got that it's really for families who really want to be together and you know share the experience of being on holiday together and they want their children with them um, we have got the indoor pool and we've also got the infinity pool but we haven't got um, a, a kids pool that you know for younger kids and um, just to bear that in mind but it is you know because we've got a lot of these two bedrooms and um, it is a great option you know for families and that's part of the concept we once we've done these um, refurbishments to try and bring new new people to the resort and we've we've got a very established repeater um, clientele and we, we wanted them to bring their families and you know to start a new generation of customers to Cambridge beaches so here are some of the images and um, I have to say so I, I, I you know I've worked in the industry for quite a long time and I've been to many rooms and I did walk into this um, one bedroom and just went wow you know the size of the rooms and the decor is just really be, has been done to a high specification it's really it is really impressive and then um, just another option, which again is another unique feature for our hotel in Bermuda is we have um, three of these private um, pool cottages. So that honeymoon um, market, um, again, particularly um, for the summer, um, if, if they don't want to go to the Maldives because you get a lot of um, customers um, on honeymoon in the Maldives, they want somewhere a little bit more where they're gonna feel a little bit more special. And um, we've got these um, pool water view cottages, which um, we've only got three of them though, but um, they just have these amazing views over the Atlantic um, Ocean. And then with regards to our restaurants, we have um, re, um, looked at the menus and we've redecorated all the restaurants. So Breezes is our outdoor restaurant and it's only open in the summer period so from April onwards um, and it's alfresco dining and it is one of the few places in Bermuda where you can watch the sun go down and have cocktails and you know you're on the beach so that that's again a great feature for the resort for those um, of the agents from the US you may have heard of the Sunken Harbour Club um, it's a New York cocktail bar and um, we've introduced it to Cambridge Beaches and that's going down really well. Um, we, our chef there has created um, a great menu for guests um, to eat at that restaurant. And then we've got Pastels, which is our casual um, poolside restaurant. Um, and we offer um, room, type, room 
board wise, we you can either book on room only, bed and breakfast, or half board. So we're we're about a thirty to forty minute drive to Hamilton, and um, so a lot of our guests who come from the US tend to stay three or four nights, whereas from the UK it's seven nights, and particularly with BA starting up um, services seven days um, a week. Um, you tend to find the British guests will tend to book either a B and B and half board rate, whereas the US customer um, would tend to buy, book by um, a room only rate. But we we do have those options through some of the tour operators, the upgraded room room um, board basis, and these are images of some of the um, of, um, restaurants that we have overlooking the ocean. And then we also do do weddings. Um, and again, we've got some absolutely stunning locations where you could have your wedding. One of the private coves, we can, you know, set out a wedding um, for you. Um, so there's lots of different options on, on, the, um, on the resort for weddings. And yeah, we, we have package prices starting from um, 1500 US dollars. So again, another um, somewhere different to think about for weddings. Um, and then finally, just to illustrate, we have these um, a, a great history of people returning because once they come, they love the service, they love the resort. As you can see on there, it's got the 35ers. And so you get your name on the board the more times you come. I think we start at five and uh, we've actually had somebody at the resort 100 times and we actually named one of the cottages after them, which is a nice thing, um, you know, for, for them to as um, a, like a recognition of their loyalty to the resort. So we, we do this, which is um, a nice feature um, for, for our guests. So um, if you have any questions, my email is andrea at wendham.co.uk. Please send me um, detail, any details. I will send you details of um, where you can get images, fact sheets, that sort of thing on the resort and I'm here to help so if you need anything um, my job is to get sales so I need to get the sales so please you know use me because I'm here to help so thank you very much and that's me done. Super, thank you very much, Andrea. So um, we've got a couple of questions that have come in for you. I think Charlotte and Megan have been answering their questions already while uh, people, while you, you, you've been presenting. So Lillian's asked, um, what are these temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit? So you must have been mentioning in uh, degrees C. So it's like 60. Uh, yeah, okay. So <laughs> you're getting into the high 80s in the summer. Um, yeah. So 80 degrees Fahrenheit into the 90s, whereas in the winter, it, I would it can go 65 to like 68. Although saying that, that I was talking to them last week and it was in the low 70s in February. So, um, yeah. So, so is that, so that's that's what. Yeah, that's Super. Fahrenheit, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. OK, thank you very much for that. Um, is the hotel adult only? No, they used to be historically, but we're introducing children now because we've got these two bedrooms and three bedrooms. So like I said earlier, it's not for the younger, I'd say, you know, who want the kids club and that, but from teenage, you know, or 12 and above that sort of age group or, or like say families who do want their kids to be with them, um, you know, that we do have a pool, but it's, it's not a, a kid's pool. Okay, super. Sheila's asked, what is pickleball? I don't know. <laughs> it's an American <laughs> thing. Probably one of our, our American friends can tell me. <laughs> Mine was the same. What is pickleball? It's just some game, I think. <laughs> it's on a court. <laughs> a game, okay. Okay. I'm sure you'll send it out on email when you do your Yeah, I need to find out, actually. I'll just go with it. <laughs> oh, here we go. Linda said it's a cross between tennis and racquetball. Oh, okay. And Neil said it's fun for everybody, easy and fun for everybody. <laughs> That's good. So we know now. <laughs> um, Michael's asked, can you guarantee the two bedroom interconnecting rooms at Cambridge Beaches? Um, would you say the more suited to families with old, older children? Older teenagers? children, yes. And if they book early, yeah, we can, yeah, we would guarantee the connections. Super. Thank you very much. Um, I think that's the end of the questions. I know there's been a lot that have been coming through. Our Shari's just sold a coconut bay. Yay. <laughs>
That's good. Okay, so now we get to the part of the day where we see who's been listening. So everybody that's on the on the webinar gets an entry into the prize draw. If you answer one of these questions correctly, um, you will get 10 entries into the prize draw. So I'm going to invite everybody back onto the screen and we are going to do a little question and answer session. So Megan, do you, do you want to start? And before you do, sure. if everybody can go to chat and just make sure that your drop down says everyone, the fastest finger first with a correct answer uh, will win the 10 points. Megan, what's your question, please, for Coconut Bay and okay. Serenity or Serenity today? Serenity. So what is the largest square footage of our largest suite? Oh, wowza. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And I'm never ready for when all of these answers come in. Um, right, let's go to so, the top. Patricia was first and she said 1900. Is that correct? That is correct. Yes. Yeah. So our, our suites go from 1,250 to 1,900. Super. Well done, Patricia. You have got 10 entries. So fingers crossed. Um, Charlotte. Right. <laughs> um, so my question is, what month does the Betquay Air VIP transfer service start each year? When does it start operating? Okay, so... Oh, actually, it's a bit confusing, uh, but I should have said the first, the earliest month of the year, <laughs> depending which way you look at okay. it. Okay. Right, well, the first answer was Kieran who said May. Is that correct? It does start in May. Brilliant. So just writing down. Okay, and last but not least, Andrea. Okay, um, what bay does, my, um, does Cambridge Beaches overlook? I nearly said it then. <laughs> Okay, so Carol was the first to answer and she said mangrove, is that correct? Correct, yeah. Brilliant. So, Kieran, Patricia and Carol, you've all got 10 entries, everybody else has got one. I will do the spin to win and let you all know tomorrow who the prize draw winners are. Ladies, Andrea, Megan, Charlotte, you've been amazing. Thank you very much for your awesome presentations. Um, keep sending all of your bookings these ladies away. They've got some luxury for you um, and they're very, very trade friendly. They want to work with you. So let them know if you've got any further questions and I will send a, um, the webinar recording out to you all with the contact details on. Um, a big thank you to everybody for joining us today. I know you're busy out there and I hope you all had a good Valentine's Day and we will see you all next week. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thanks, ladies. <laughs> Bye.